Tom Robinson joining us from up the north. Welcome to the show, mate. G'day, mate. Cheers, good to be here. Uh, congratulations on the win on the weekend. I love seeing you going nutto at the end there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty special. Um, I think, yeah, it would be one of the up there with one of the greatest wins of my whole life, I think. Um, wow. I was telling the boys, boys afterwards, like, my whole uh, ju- playing junior grade up, up in Northland from what Roland Mills, which is year seven, I've never ever beaten an Auckland team my whole life. So that was uh, pretty special. Damn, that's a crazy stat. Is that for real? Yeah. That's, that's, that's Roland Mills, under 14s, under 18s, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah. Oh, mate, okay, and, and, okay, more special is it to beat them at home? Because I know the history of that was over 40 years. I mean, the next time that we stuff them at Eden Park would be just as good, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh, without a doubt. Um, yeah, as I said, there's only been about three of them, so wherever you get them, um, but yeah, but anyway, it's pretty special. The great thing, Tom, is that, you know, because I, you know, I'm a lot older than you, and, you know, when I grew up, there's that, that bloody Auckland thing. We used to call it the Auckland Shuffle, where all their fans had walked down the other end at half time to watch the tries being scored, and it seemed that you'd never be able to beat them, and for years it was like that with, with uh, the, you know, kind of advent of professional rugby and everything, that the resources were always there. So what's happened? Is it evened out a bit, or is it just because the All Blacks aren't there? What are you kind of, what are your thoughts around that? Um... Well, they had two of their All Blacks. Yes. But no, I mean, you know, they are they are missing, obviously, a lot of All Blacks. But I think it's been like that for the last sort of, well, since I've been involved in NPC, the All Blacks have, have, haven't really been involved. They're probably more involved now than they ever have been. Um, but, oh, I mean, in terms of what is it from our perspective, I think, um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to put it on sort of one... Um, obviously, we had a we've had a good roll on going so far this NPC, and yeah. there's just a lot of faith and a real good bunch of guys and some good systems put in place and the coaches that everyone's buying into. And but yeah, nothing um, you know revolutionary or anything. Okay, Tom Robinson is with us. Look, and um, we've been speaking also um, a couple of times over the last couple of weeks to your CEO there. I love this idea of the under 14s in a company by an adult for free. I think that's brilliant. I love the idea for the Cody, the women's team, where they've got a crèche, travelling crèche on board. They're just really good, real things to implement. Yeah, yeah. There's, um, it's, uh, you know, like we're massive around the community up here. I think when you when you play for a team like Northam, where, you know, I know the Blues, the region is, is part of Northam, but, you know, we don't get any Blues games up north, and so they, our community really gets behind, behind Northam, and, and we really um, want to do our community proud. So initiatives like the, um, you know, the kids free entry and 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 the initiatives for the CEO to allow you know the the ladies to take um, their kids away, just stuff like that. It's it's more than just yeah about the results. Too. Yeah, of course it is, mate. It's just really practical. It really helps, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I'm sure, like yeah, those little things like that for those ladies must be huge and. And they must be so, yeah, really appreciative of that, I'm sure. Well, it's been a couple of um, months, or best part of a couple of months, up way up the north there um, in earlier in the year, mate. And uh, what really surprised and, and shocked me is um, just how, and I don't, it's, it, it's not a criticism or anything, but just how undeveloped a lot of it is. I don't think the rest of the country really realises, you know, that there is so much poverty up there. People really struggle in the north. Yeah, without, without a doubt. And I think... Um, that's sort of what makes us so passionate about playing for this team too and try and um, represent our community. And and if we can be in a position too, we can give back to those um, less fortunate people, um, then that, that's that's huge for us. And, and there's so many people that in our team that care about our community. I think that's why we have such a, um, you know, a real good culture too. Mm. But yeah, you're right. There are, you know, there are a lot of social issues in the north. That's for sure. You know, it's quite a, it's a, you know, something. It's quite a, res- I suppose, a responsibility to take for somebody so young. I mean, you know, you've got every right and every excuse, Tom, to be a young man just playing rugby, playing code because you love it, playing with your mates and stuff like that. But do you have actually thoughts like that going on in your head? It's really, it's really cool to hear, mate. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. 
You're allowed to take a comment. That's what we do to you nice. What's your favourite position, bro? Because we are, we argue about this all the time. I want you on the blind side. Is that where you'd like to be? Um, well, to be fair, I like. I probably I think I'm better at lock. Um, okay. In terms of, I like getting in the thick of it. I like six, but sometimes you're on the edge a lot. Um, on attack, you're on the edge. On defence, you're on the edge. And I just like getting in the thick of it and just hitting rucks, man. Yeah. I'm just happy to do that, eh? Yeah. More so than the the big breaks up the middle. But um, I enjoy both. It's definitely different um, different positions. And um, but yeah, I think I, I did really enjoy playing lock during super. What are your coaches saying to you? Do they want you to 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 you know be a specialist in that position, or is it just the nature of the game these days? that you're going to be needed to be able to play a couple because of the squad? Yeah, I think it's just sort of that. Like, I just tell them that I'm, I'm, um, I'll am I'm, just play wherever is best for the team, pretty much. Um, so, like, started at six up in Northland and then, uh, like, this season. But um, Rob Rush is playing really well there, so... You know, it makes sense to keep him there so I can play lock too. So it's it's just wherever I'm I'm needed really. Or um we best works with the team pretty much. This is Tom Robinson with us, Northern the Blues. I hope to add all blacks to that soon, mate. What are your aspirations as far as that black jersey go? Uh yeah, it's definitely an aspiration and a dream of mine, but um it's not something I'm like I'm caught up on. I'm not gonna let it determine my happiness, if, if that makes sense, you know, if it, I'll keep working really hard and, and, and do everything I can to achieve it, but if it, if, it, if it happens, then that's awesome. If it doesn't, well, yeah, I'll still be proud of what I've achieved. Have have, have you, any of the All Black coaches or any of that structure been in touch with you or given you any kind of pointers throughout the seasons to say, hey, look, work this on your game, do that on your game, or you're getting close? Have you had any words like that? No, nah, no, I haven't. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's uh, whether I'm just uh, way down the, the list of, of players, or, or whether it's just sort of something that they, doesn't happen. I'm not too sure, but okay. no, I haven't had any. Yeah. The way the way that you play, and you know, I love, and I, I'm sure that all you know fans listening think the same as me about this. I hope they do. I love the way that you play because you play like you're a kid playing rugby. That you get on the field and all you want to do is hammer it, run hard, get the ball, smack guys, do all of that kind of stuff. Is that how you've always played? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, being a ginger battler, I've got I've got no choice but to just <laughs> be guard. <laughs> Go out there and uh, go hard because I'm not, I'm not the sort of player that's going to bust through bloody four tackles or anything. So. You are though, Dave. Nah, it's just always the way it's been. <laughs> yeah, you just play. Oh, mate, you've been you've been generous to me today. No, mate. no, bro. Look, <laughs> I'd say this because I've got a good mate who's um, and I won't say who he is, but he's on the uh, North Shore in Devonport. And you you lads came over there at the beginning of the season. It might have been last season. It might have been this season. But anyway, his son has got a big flame and red hair like you, mate, and he just adores you. And you actually went around, shook some hands, gave some balls and some prizes away made a real impact on that kid who plays rugby exactly the same as you that's i mean that's the power you got yeah I th- yeah i think um oh that, that's that's cool to hear that but i think i think you know when you when you grow up um as a young kid and all you want to be is like a play for the pennies or play for the blues and then you um you become that sort of player like you made the blues or the Northland and you actually you just feel like a normal person you know you don't feel anything special and I think you can players tend to forget actually the the effect that they can have on you know young kids like that so oh. um, yeah sometimes it's sort of um, you know we have that kind of Kiwi um, tall poppy syndrome where we don't kind of like to to put ourselves out there but I think it's uh, it's important for rugby players to sort of um, realise the, the effect that they can have on, on our community and stuff. Yeah, look, mate, it's just, you know, the thing is is that, especially when you grow your own kids, you'll realise this as well, that, you know, quite often they don't listen to mum and dad, and if, <laughs> but they can actually <laughs> latch on to somebody else, and that kind of influence can be enormous, you know. What does the NPC mean to you? I want to ask you about this, because I know that you love playing for North, and what, is it, what does it mean to you, this competition? Oh, it's... I love it, eh? I love coming back home. Um, 
you know, it's, I like going down to Auckland and going to the big city, and then but coming up here into the countryside and and playing for a, a community that's like so behind you. Um, yeah, I love it. Eh? No, no, no other team I'd rather play for. That's for sure. Another thing that I'm really impressed with, four wins so far for Northland people, just the one loss, you're rocking it, mate. But also, I'm looking down the points you've conceded. 10 against Taranaki, 16, you lost to Waikato, but it's only 16. 14 uh, to Manawatu, 22 to Auckland there. Your defence has been just amazing. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it has. But, uh, we have Marty Beal um, coming to our coaching system this year and and the, the boys are just really bought into what he's brought and um, there's a, as I said, you get a bunch of individuals that really care about a jersey and a community and and want to play for not only that but for each other. Um, it could be pretty powerful. So, um, yeah, we've done some some great things, but you know, as the old cliche is, it's, we're only halfway through. And um, but I can tell that that hunger's to be better, is like still there, you know, and and that's what's important too. So, yeah. Well, hopefully with a great season, they might actually, you know, look at bringing you a Blues game up there, which would be great for the community. I know that the Women's World Cup there, you've got some games, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. The Women's World Cup's coming here, so that'll be cool, and I'm sure the community will get behind that. But, yeah, we'd, we were meant to play a Blues game up here a couple of years ago, and or well, last year, and then COVID and all that mm. carry on. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully this season we get to come home. Oh, well, look, rock on, man, eh? And, uh, you know, if fans love watching you play, dude, keep doing it. Cheers, mate. Well, good. Nice it. talking to you. See you later, mate.